the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 67 of The Daily Mother Swole. Ooh, cracking and miring the gains as always. Today, I want to branch off uh, something that I was talking about on Instagram, that your body wants you to quit. Your body wants you to quit. Your body wants to shut you down. One of the things that keeps you from your results, one of the things that keeps you from building muscle, from losing fat, is that your body wants you to quit and you listen to it. I want to go over a couple little points and then I'll take some Q&A after uh, the session unless there's something that goes on that's actually on topic or on point. Your body wants you to quit. Your body wants you to shut down. Your body wants you to give up. It's trying to protect itself. Your body is a defensive organism and it wants you to stop hurting yourself. The thing is, you have to hurt yourself in order to get results because you have to put your body under stress in order to get your body to adapt to change. So pain is perception. Your body's or your perceived pain will adjust over time. When you first start working out, the pain that you feel today is not gonna feel as extreme in two, three, four weeks, four months, four years, down the road because your body gets used to pain. You get used to feeling certain pain. You get used to the burn in your triceps. You get used to the burn in your legs. You get used to these types of uh, discomforts, especially after your workout. After you're done working out, when you have the next couple days of soreness, your body will get used to that. So what I feel today might be crippling to some of you because you're not used to that kind of pain. You're not used to that kind of after burn or after or delayed onset muscle soreness. You're not used to that kind of fatigue or that trauma. I am. So it's relative. It's perception. It's what you're used to. So it doesn't mean that you have any less tissue damage than I do. It just means that you are not used to that feeling of pain. Your receptors aren't um, are a little bit or more sensitive than mine, for example. Okay. In order to get results, you have to go past pain. So first off, you need to be consistent in order to get your body to get used to those feelings of pain. You have to get used to knowing what types of pain are good pain and bad pain. You know when to stop because you have an injury. You know when to keep on pushing because it's just your body saying stop and you have to say, shut the hell up, you pussy. I'm going to keep going. That's the two different types of pain that you need to be aware of because you need to go down the stopping such a pussy, keep going road. If you don't, you're just going to stop when it burns and you're always going to stop when it burns because it's always going to burn when you stop. That was like a little Dr. Seuss rhyme, but that's what's going to happen. Your body is always going to get used to stopping when it gets difficult and it won't adapt. You have to push through that pain. You have to go through to that numbness, to that second layer of pain, kind of like different layers of discomfort until you absolutely reach failure. Now, this is something that has to be done over time, and that's going to be my last point about working through pain, about going to failure, going to that absolute limit. So you have to be smart. You have to be smart knowing which type of pain it is, knowing whether it's failure pain or it's injury pain, and you have to build up to that. So when you're building up to that kind of pain, when you first start off, when you first start working out, what's going on, everyone? When you first start working out, you are not going to be able to hit failure the same way that I will. If you are a novice, if you're just hitting the gym for the first time, if you're just hitting the gym in a long time, but if you're a beginner, you need to be careful of failure. Total body workouts for a starter, like I've said in my other daily swoles, you know, that those of you that are new join, you can check me out on YouTube, youtube.com slash swolenormous, the same username here on Periscope. I have a lot of these shows out there already. But I've talked about this before. I've talked about beginners starting with total body workouts. So when you're starting with a total body workout, especially at the beginning, you don't want to go to failure. You want to stop a couple reps before you want to leave a little bit left in the tank because physiologically your body cannot handle that absolute limitation, that absolute end point. You will cripple yourself and you'll be out of the gym too long. You won't be able to build up, build up that consistency because you'll be sore for a couple weeks after that first session. You need to build up to that slowly. So understand that it is a process. It is something that needs to be built up over time, that tolerance to failure. The tolerance to failure has to be built up. So when you're starting off in the gym, stop a few reps before failure when you're a beginner. Then start maybe using your last set or pushing one set per exercise 
Okay, so if you're doing, let's say, one exercise for chest, doing three or four sets on bench press, for example, one of those sets could go towards failure after the first couple weeks. Then you start going to failure, or when you feel like you're able to. If you're not sore, if you're not feeling too fatigued, you can go that one, you can start earlier that one set to failure, maybe after the first week or two. One set to failure. Then start pushing more of those sets to failure. Then you'll start becoming doing more exercises, more volume, more sets overall per body part, and then eventually you'll be moving off full body workouts and doing more splits like chest and back, chest and triceps, back and biceps, chest and legs, whatever it is. There's so many different splits, and I've talked about this before in other videos and other daily swoles, talk about training splits. There's different ways to split it up, but more of those sets that you do, more of your volume will be done towards failure. This will be building up. It's very important not to go too hard too soon. That's the problem. A lot of you, if you've never been to the gym before, you go, they assign you a personal trainer. The personal trainer might not know what they're doing. They crush you and then you're crippled, you're injured, you can't move, you're, oh my God, I can't move, I'm not going back there. And then you don't get into the, the flow of things, you don't get your consistency. So if you're trying to get consistent, if you're trying to see progress in the gym, you need to get regular. And if you're not getting regular, what's gonna happen? You're not gonna see progress. So you have to build up to it. You have to be able to create a type of system and a schedule that gets you into the gym more frequently, more regularly, every day. If you cripple yourself on day one, you're at the gym for two weeks, you're not consistent. So you need to build yourself up to failure, but don't just worry about your day-to-day -day getting to the gym. Understand about your ad adaptation to failure. Your body wants you to quit, okay? Your body wants you to quit, you have to push through, but you have to build up to that point. And then once your body starts wanting you to quit and you're aware of what your good failure limitations are, that good pain, you have to push. You have to push through and you need to go to failure. And that's why spotters and people that are watching out for you and making sure you don't drop the weights in your face and going to absolute failure, getting that last little repetition is effective because that's what's going to stimulate muscle growth. That's, when a, that's what's going to push you. That's why a lot of people don't see change. That's why a lot of people don't build a lot of muscle. That's why a lot of people don't lose a lot of fat because they stop when it hurts. They stop when their body tells them that it's enough and they don't ignore the body because the body wants to be the same. The body doesn't want to change. The body wants to stay overweight. The body wants to keep the same amount of muscle. Doesn't want to build muscle. That's work. Doesn't want to lose fat. That's work. Your body doesn't want to change. So if you're going and quitting when you feel pain, when you feel like that's when you're, you're having enough, that's your body's way of saying, I'm at my limit of where I'm comfortable. I don't want to do any more extra work. Let's stop. And you say, oh, okay, that hurts. I'm going to stop and then you don't see change. You have to go beyond that pain. That's what it takes to get in shape. That's what it takes to build muscle. That's what it takes to get the physique that most people want. People look at me, oh man, how'd you get big like that? There's no magic. There's no magic. It's consistency and it's pushing to the point that is ridiculously uncomfortable and painful for a human being, okay? It sucks. I wouldn't say it sucks. I like it, but you learn to like it. It hurts. It hurts like a motherfucker. It will always hurt if you're still gaining and you're still pushing and you're still shredding. It will always hurt because you'll always push more. You'll push, it'll burn, it'll be uncomfortable always. Okay? Training doesn't always have to be painful, but you have to push yourself. If you're not pushing yourself beyond, beyond, depending on what you're doing, um, especially with muscle growth, if you're not going to failure, you're not going to get results. If you're not going beyond failure, you're not going to get results. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to suck. It's going to burn. It's going to hurt. You have to say, shut up. It's going to hurt more. You have to say, shut up. It's going to hurt more. You have to say, shut up. And I'm talking about the good pain. And then once you feel like you can't do another rep, then you start counting. Like literally, that's the kind of psychosis it takes to build a lot of muscle naturally because you're, but you have to give yourself enough rest time. I always talk about rest, recovery, but that's a whole other topic. But you have to understand, you have to find your pain thresholds, you have to pain, you have to track or determine your proper failure, good pain threshold, those failure limitations by working up to them gradually and getting more consistent with failure sets and then pushing the envelope because that's what it takes. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for episode 67 of The Daily Mother Swole. I'll stay for a couple minutes after on Periscope to answer a few extra questions. And thank you for joining me. I will see everyone tomorrow for episode 68 of The Daily Swole. Peace out. Enjoy your day.